mid-July and time to solve a few mysteries and the tower garden that you see right in front of you is uh, now been adjusted but let me tell you about a few of the difficulties. First off these uh, cantaloupe plants, the Athena cantaloupe and the uh, vines had been doing fantastic. As a matter of fact, uh, take a look at some of the fruits. I've got a total of three plants and I'm not sure if these are all on two plants, but there's a total of three uh, cantaloupe that are forming the oldest, most mature one in the background. Now the reason for the vines not looking so good was that for some reason I lost all the plants on the upper rings of the towers, or tower singular. I had been running out of water in the heat and did put a float valve into the 20 gallon reservoir. I just hadn't uh, connected it at the time that I was having all the issues. So what I did was I took the top off the container. Well, I picked the top off the container following it blowing over because it had went dry in high winds. But looking at the entire tower system, um, the pump, I thought, well, maybe the roots had gotten into the pump and uh, that was preventing the uh, flow of nutrients to the top of the tower and uh, trickling down. I had previously leveled the tower and I did check it again to make sure that it was level because the water goes up to a plate that runs across hopefully evenly before it starts to drip down. I also checked the power cord, the extension cord, because I put a new one on this year just to make sure that it wasn't uh, the power cord. I pulled the pump out and I checked the uh, area but underneath uh, the housing to make sure that roots hadn't gotten in there and blocked the flow. I also swapped out the pump with a new pump. That still not, did not seem to help any. I checked and rechecked the fitting between the column sections. What I found out was a combination of factors, one of which being that the uh, unit did have an additional two rings for a total of seven, and it's normally shipped with five. So it had the additional two rings, but it didn't have a stronger pump. And so that did cut down on the flow to the top of the unit. You could hear the sound of the water flowing, and you could see it actually bubbling out of the top. And that's what you want to see because the water comes up and it uh, kind of goes down through the uh, holes in the top evenly as it drips down through the tower. Now, what I found out was the uh, tip that comes up through there had broken uh, maybe during the fall. And uh, there was water that was going down around the outside of that uh, half-inch tube instead of distributing across the top of that uh, perforated plate. And just as a temporary fix, I just took some plumber's putty and uh, packed that around. So I may have to give this a little bit better solution for next year, but it uh, has done the trick for right now. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that after taking off the uh, additional two column sections, that I'm getting better uh, nutrient water flow and that uh, has certainly helped out. Now the uh, times that I've been taking the tower apart today and uh, flipping it over, looking underneath, I've done a number on those uh, cantaloupe vines. We'll see if they come back, but I did have to replant the tower. I did have some uh, seeded plants out of an arrow garden. For example, this is a uh, Wau, I probably slaughtered that name, uh, Sunflower. I've got a couple of those that I put in the top of the unit. I've got uh, three quick snack uh, cucumber plants down a little bit farther and also down real low on the tower. I've got a cauliflower plant and all the way down, actually uh, a little bit lower at the very bottom ring are some yellow straight neck summer squash. That uh, quarter inch line that you see coming from the unit, it comes off of the float valve. It's a Carrick float valve and it comes around behind this uh, butterfly bush 
to a 14 gallon container and I'm using that as a gravity feed uh, reservoir and that should help a little bit with all the water the plants have been going through. I've been using the Foilage Pro uh, 936 Complete Nutrient and because of the heat it normally is suggested two to three uh, teaspoons per gallon. I've only been doing about uh, one and a half teaspoons per gallon because the plants are drinking more than eating. At the very bottom those are wooden shims like you find in a typical big box store and I used a uh, straight level and those shims to uh, make sure that the unit was level across the re reservoir as well as up the tower. So there you have it. I'm trying to make the most out of this summer by uh, getting some quick to harvest plants and take advantage of the nice weather as well as some uh, impromptu MacGyver uh, type solutions that uh, will help me out in terms of being able to get the uh, water flow that I need as well as all the water usage to be able to top off that and give me a little bit more time between filling up the reservoir.